How can Africa, so rich in solar, wind and hydroelectric power potential, fuel the energy transition? And what role can or should investors play in making this happen? Let's find out in the blue space. There is a gap that exists and that gap is access to finance because we are still dealing with an issue where you have 600 million Africans without any access to electricity, 900 million without any access to clean cooking technologies, most of them women. We have to close that gap between energy access and our ability to drive it up. Access to finance is key. That's where we need investment. We need investment into the real people who are feeling climate change right now. Africa has been really been underfunded, underexplored, and a lot of projects without financing, but also a lot of financing without bankable projects. Interestingly also, I mean, you require about $1.3 trillion of investment to be able to, to, be able to support that in, in, in the continent. So clearly, when you start thinking around energy transition and the demand that is there in the future, Africa is actually the well place, you know, place to be able to do that. What for you are the most promising opportunities for energy infrastructure development, NJ? It's about common sense. It's about pragmatism. It's about using whatever it takes for us to get out of an energy crisis. We'll leave it there for now, though, and thank you to our guests, Dele Kuti, Global Head of Energy and Infrastructure at Standard Bank, Sarah Collins, founder and owner of Wonderbag, and NJ Ayuk, Executive Chairman of the Africa Energy Chamber. I'm Joanne Joseph. Thank you for watching, and until the next time we meet, take care. Click the link on the video description to learn more about the Blue Space.